So it says here, Dwayne Johnson fought to keep Black Adam out of Shazam to avoid doing a disservice to the character. I hope this is not, well, first of all, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give him a shot. See what he said, the reason why, because that's like keeping Lex Luthor out of Superman. Like, I don't understand why you would do that. What disservice would that do to Superman to keep Lex Luthor out? So let me see what his train of thought is, because I absolutely don't get this. Let's see here. It says here. Considering Dwayne The Rock Johnson's status as one of the world's biggest action stars, many find it surprising that he waited this long to star in a comic book movie franchise. Yeah, that's true. Uh, while the former wrestler likely could have had his pick of superhero parts in the past, he has always had his eye on one particular role, Black Adam. That's because everybody was fan-casting him for it. <laughs> <laughs> Since the beginning, people was just like, yo, Black Adam. Johnson was first linked to the role a decade ago when he entered talks to play the villain in the movie that eventually became 2019's Shazam. Black Adam and Shazam have always been foes in the comic books, having received their superpowers from the same wizard, Harry. To many... A movie with the two of them facing off seemed like a natural fit. But Johnson eventually backed out of that project, encouraging Warner Brothers executives to develop a standalone movie to introduce the villain in a separate film. Got gotcha. you. That's the reason why. Johnson got his wish and Black Adam is scheduled to hit theaters this fall. In a new interview with Vanity Fair, Johnson explained why he held out to ensure Black Adam got his own movie. When the first draft of the movie came to us, it was a combination of Black Adam and Shazam, two origin stories in one movie, Johnson said. Now, that was the goal, so it wasn't a complete surprise. But when I read that, I just knew in my gut we can't make this movie like this. We would be doing Black Adam an incredible disservice. It would be fine for Shazam having two origin stories covering co coverage in one movie, but not good for Black Adam. I see what he means there. I, you know, I, I, I see where he's going there. Uh, typically, we don't have to do that for villains. I mean, villains can be... Villains can steal the show. Villains have stole the movie. Several times without having an origin movie made about them. So, um, but I see his train of thought. I'm not going to bash him for that. I'm sure people will chalk it up to his ego. I've seen people make, you know, comments about The Rock's ego, but I don't know him personally, so I'm not going to say that. I don't know him. Um, he may have been just making a, a smart business decision for his character and his career. You know, that may have been it. It could be a combination. I don't know. The sentiment prompted Johnson to make a phone call voicing discomfort with the idea. He explained that Black Adam and Shazam are fundamentally different characters and introducing them both in the same movie would be a disservice to both of them. Like I said, that n not really. Lex Luthor is a completely different, you know, character fundamentally. Superman, he's, you know, his strength is his brain. Superman's is his body. I know Superman is extremely intelligent, too. I, I know. But, you know, there's, there's this whole opposites type of thing with a lot of superheroes and their villains, you know. Uh, Batman, Joker, Superman, Batman, Black Adam, Shazam. And at the same time, there's a similarity between them. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, it's one of those things where it's an, argu an argument could be made for both. You know what I'm saying? Um, imagine having made a... Imagine having made an origin story for me. I think that may have worked with Heath Ledger. 
and then introducing me to the Batman. That's a pretty good idea, Eve. You know what I mean? It may have been a good idea to do that. It may be a great idea to going forward have these move these where all of these villains actually have their separate origin stories. And then you bring them together with the hero who also had his separate origin story. That could really work. I don't know. Uh, he believed that in the end, any potential showdown between the two characters would be richer if they both were introduced in separate films. I said, I have to share my thoughts here. I'm very, it's very unpopular because everybody thought, hey, the script is great. Let's make this movie. I said, I really think that you should make Shazam, make that movie on its own, in the tone that you want. And I think we should separate this as well. So that's the end of it. So what do y'all think about that? Does that work for you? You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I understand it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to condemn him for making that decision. You know, um, I, I think it's definitely arguable. We'll see how it works. Right? We'll see how it works. I mean, if you think about it like this, even though he's not the same one, Venom, making a separate Venom film worked very well. And to bring them together with the already successful Spider-Man would have been phenomenal, which they didn't do, which kind of irritates me. But <sighs> making separate villain origin stories does work. We saw Joker, you know, even though they said it was a one-off. We'll see what they do with this next one. We'll see if Joaquin Phoenix is down for a third and maybe introduce him to a, a Batman, you know. I think he works with um, with um, Twilight Batman, Robert Pattinson. I couldn't think of his name, that's why I said Twilight. Um, yeah, so post comments down below. Let me know what you think about this situation. 10 million subscribers. 